So 2024 marks 50 years since the World Health Organization initiated the expanded program now called Essential Program on Immunization with the aim of ensuring every child, wherever they are in the world and whatever their status, receives the life-saving vaccines that they need. Vaccines are some of the simplest and most effective public health interventions available. Initially, there were six vaccines recommended by the WHO, that is the World Health Organization, as part of the EPI schedule, that is the expanded program on immunization schedule. We have diphtheria, tetanus, pertussis, polio, we have measles and tuberculosis. Over the years, the expanded program on immunization has expanded, adding hemophilus influenza type B, hepatitis B, rubella, pneumococcal disease, rotavirus, and human papillomavirus. Also, a meningitis vaccine in West Africa. We have been working on vaccines and infectious diseases for over 75 years. Let's have a look at some of our contribution, not only to vaccination in the Gambia, but across Sub-Saharan Africa and beyond. In 1986, the Gambia Hepatitis Intervention Study was established. This became the longest cohort followed for the impact of the hepatitis B vaccine on liver cancer. Since then, the MRC unit the Gambia has supported the introduction of the hepatitis B vaccine in the routine EPI schedule in the Gambia and has continuously worked on improving the timely uptake of the hepatitis B birth dose vaccine. These efforts have helped reduce the burden of hepatitis B infection and hepatitis-related liver disease and death among the vaccinated age groups in the Gambia. In 1994, MRC de Gambia uh, conducted a, a HIV vaccine trial. In 1997, again, there was another study which was conducted to look at uh, the impact of uh, HIV vaccine on pneumonia and meningitis in Africa. So in the same year, 1997, Gambia became the first country in Africa to introduce HIV vaccine in their EPI routine vaccine. So in 2005, again, another epidemiology study was conducted in the Gambia just to look at elimination of pneumonia and meningitis in the Gambia, thanks to the contribution of MRC researchers. The first trials of conjugate pneumococcal vaccine took place in MRCG in 1996. Subsequently, in 2000, the first trial of a nine-valent pneumococcal conjugate vaccine took place in MRCG. I conducted clinical aspects of that trial, and the results showed safety, efficacy, and immunogenicity in these children. This resulted in the WHO recommending pneumococcal conjugate vaccines for children in sub-Saharan Africa and other low-income countries. The Gambia is the second country in Africa to introduce a pneumococcal conjugate vaccine to its children in 2009. And this has led to the halving of pneumonia deaths worldwide, particularly in low-income countries, in children under the age of five years. To reduce the cost of pneumococcal conjugate vaccines and to make them easier to administer, there is currently a large trial underway in two regions of the Gambia that has enrolled over 32,000 children to determine if reducing the number of doses to two will give the same effect as the standard three doses. We are hoping that this will enable African countries to ensure that all children receive the vaccines that they need in future. FMRCG has a long history working towards malaria elimination. In 1998, the first trial of a RTSS malaria vaccine in Africa was conducted here. This was swiftly followed in 2001 by the first trials of RTSS looking at the protection from natural malaria infection in Africa, and in 2005 by the first trial of RTSS in children. 
Based on the research conducted at MRC and large filter carried out in seven countries in Sub-Saharan Africa, a pilot vaccination program was launched in Ghana, Kenya, and Malawi in 2019. Thanks to the trial conducted at MRC and the pilot vaccination program, RTSS became the first malaria vaccine to be included in routine national immunization schedule in 2023 making malaria a vaccine-preventable disease for the first time. We are currently testing additional malaria vaccine and new ways to give malaria vaccine the hope they will also contribute and help end malaria. MRCG's research on vaccines to prevent epidemic meningitis across the meningitis belt of Africa continue to have major impact in public health and immunization policy. In 2006, the phase three MENA fever vaccine trial was conducted here in the Gambia. And based on these and other trials in 2010, the rollout of MEN A vaccine was done across 26 countries in the region. Cervical cancer, which is caused by HPV infection, is a vaccine-preventable disease that no woman should die from. The phase three clinical trial of the novel oral polio vaccine was conducted in the Gambia by the Medical Research Council Unit in 2021. The vaccine was licensed and pre-qualified in 2023 by the World Health Organization based upon data collected in the trial. This is a significant step as it is the first new polio vaccine licensed since 1960 and is expected to be a critical tool for polio eradication. Polio is highly infectious, but vaccine preventable. The new vaccine is on track to replace the existing oral polio vaccine globally and ensure that no child has to suffer from this debilitating disease. Developing new vaccines is crucial, but getting them to every child who needs them is equally crucial. At the MRC unit in Gambia, our vaccine epidemiologists leverage cutting-edge data science approaches, including geospatial modeling to pinpoint underserved communities, understand vaccination gap, and uncover reasons behind non- or under-vaccination. This valuable information empowers decision-makers to prioritize and strengthen vaccine delivery systems where they are needed most, ensuring that no child is left behind. Although vaccines are known to save lives, vaccine hesitancy is a serious threat to vaccination programs in global public health, as it can hinder maintaining herd immunity. Social scientists here at the MRC unit have found that decision-making regarding vaccination is influenced by factors such as patriarchy, previous vaccination experiences, and the weighing of risks and benefits. Strategies that may prove successful counteract vaccine hesitancy here in the Gambia include sustained community engagement and encouragement from healthcare providers. We have recently completed the first trial using microarray patches to deliver vaccines in children. Microarray patches are considered to be the highest priority innovation for ensuring that children in low and middle income countries receive all the vaccinations they need. We are currently focused on measles and rubella vaccinations using microarray patches. These are expected to be a game changer in global efforts to eradicate measles. The MRC unit remains at the forefront of 
vaccine innovations relevant to our setting in West and Sub-Saharan Africa. The heart of our work really lies with the people in the Gambia and the communities. Over our decades of research in the country, we have developed close partnerships and relationships with the communities where we conduct our trials. Through their participation, they are ensuring that no child has to die from a disease that could be prevented with a vaccine. We are grateful to them and the tremendous contributions they are making to research and health and excited about the future.